A wise monk named Master Chen was known far and wide for his profound wisdom. People sought his counsel and guidance, believing that his words held the key to unlocking a life of true happiness and contentment. One sunny morning, as the village bustled with its usual activities, a merchant named Samuel arrived with his caravan of goods. Samuel was a man of great wealth and success, but he had grown tired of the constant pursuit of material possessions. He had heard tales of Master Chain's wisdom and decided to seek his counsel, hoping to find a deeper meaning to his existence. With eager anticipation, Samuel made his way to the humble abode of the wise monk. As he entered, he was struck by the simplicity of the surroundings. The room was adorned with only a few essential items and a soft, calming energy filled the air. Master Chain welcomed Samuel with a warm smile and invited him to sit. The merchant wasted no time in boasting about his immense wealth, believing that it defined his worth and happiness. He spoke of his grand mansions, luxurious possessions, and the power he held over others. Samuel expected the monk to be impressed, but Master Chain merely nodded, his eyes filled with compassion. Unfazed by the monk's lack of reaction, Samuel continued to speak, not realizing how shallow his words sounded in that serene environment. After some time, Master Chain raised a hand, signaling the merchant to stop. Samuel, wealth and possessions may bring temporary pleasure, but they do not define the true essence of a person, the monk began, his voice gentle yet firm. Allow me to share a story with you, one that may shed light on what truly matters in life. Intrigued, Samuel leaned forward, eager to hear the wisdom that would soon unfold. There once lived a wealthy merchant much like yourself, Master Chen began. He possessed riches beyond imagination, but his heart was burdened by a constant emptiness. In his pursuit of wealth, he had sacrificed his integrity, stepping on others to climb the ladder of success. He had forgotten the importance of compassion, treating his fellow beings as mere stepping stones to his own desires. Samuel listened intently, realizing that he too had been guilty of neglecting these virtues in his quest for material wealth. One day, this merchant came across a wise old man, who shared four invaluable lessons that transformed his life, continued Master Ching. The first lesson was about integrity. The old man taught him that one should never compromise their values for worldly gains. True success lies in maintaining honesty, even in the face of adversity. Samuel's eyes widened as he contemplated the importance of integrity in his own life. He realized that he had compromised his values on numerous occasions, blinded by the allure of material possessions. The second lesson was about compassion, Master Chen continued. The old man explained that wealth loses its meaning when it is not used to benefit others. True happiness lies in alleviating the suffering of those less fortunate and spreading kindness wherever one goes. Samuel felt a pang of guilt in his heart as he realized how self-centered he had become, consumed by his own desires and neglecting the needs of others. The third lesson was about relationships, the monk continued. The old man emphasized the importance of nurturing meaningful connections with family, friends, and the community. Material possessions may come and go but the love and support of those around us are the true treasures in life. Samuel thought about his own relationships and how he had neglected them in favor of his business pursuits. He understood the value of forging genuine connections and vowed to make amends. Master Chain paused for a moment, allowing the lessons to sink in before delivering the final one. The fourth and most crucial lesson was about inner peace, he said, his voice filled with wisdom. 
No amount of wealth can bring true contentment if one's inner world is in turmoil. Cultivate a sense of peace within yourself and you will find that happiness is not dependent on external circumstances. Samuel closed his eyes and took a deep breath, reflecting on the profound wisdom he had just received. He realized that the four things the wise old man had shared with the wealthy merchant were the very things he had been neglecting in his own life. With newfound clarity, Samuel opened his eyes and looked at Master Chain with deep gratitude. Master Chain, I am forever indebted to you for sharing these invaluable lessons with me. I have come to understand that wealth alone does not define one's worth or happiness. From this day forward, I vow to live a life that embodies integrity, compassion, strong relationships, and inner peace. Master Chen smiled, his eyes sparkling with satisfaction. Samuel, you have taken the first step towards a more fulfilling life. Remember, these four things are not meant to be sacrificed for anyone or anything. They are the pillars that support a life of true meaning and contentment. With a heart filled with hope and determination, Samuel bid farewell to Master Chain, carrying the weight of the monk's wisdom within him. He returned to his caravan, but this time with a renewed purpose. From that day forward, Samuel made a conscious effort to embody the lessons he had learned. He treated his business dealings with integrity, refusing to compromise his values for the sake of profit. He became known as a fair and honest merchant, earning the respect and trust of his customers and peers. Samuel also discovered the joy of giving back to those in need. He used his wealth not only to improve his own life but also to uplift the lives of others. He established charitable foundations, supporting causes that aligned with his newfound understanding of compassion. As he revaluated his relationships, Samuel realized the importance of nurturing connections with his loved ones. He made time for his family, strengthening the bonds that had been neglected in his pursuit of wealth. He also reached out to those he had distanced himself from, seeking forgiveness and rebuilding bridges that had been broken. But perhaps the most transformative change in Samuel's life was the cultivation of inner peace. He dedicated time each day to quiet reflection, meditating and striving to find harmony within himself. Through this practice, he discovered that true happiness resided not in external circumstances but within his own heart and mind. Years passed and Samuel's transformation became an inspiration to those around him. People marveled at the depth of his wisdom, the kindness he showed to others and the serenity that radiated from within him. He became a mentor to youngsters, guiding them towards a more fulfilling life and helping them understand the importance of the four pillars, integrity, compassion, relationships, and inner peace. 